Welcome to the Media Box, Damien Cotier, reporter on the legal and human rights aspects uh, of the Russian Federation's aggression against Ukraine. Uh, Pace and several other people calling for a special uh, tribunal over this. Remind us of why you feel that's necessary in terms of the existing international legal system. Well, there are two things. Actually, on the, on the ground, there are lots of uh, uh, crimes, war crimes, crimes against humanity. And there, the judicial system of Ukraine, the prosecutor general of Ukraine, is competent, actually. Uh, and uh, the International Criminal Court can also help and, uh, and, and deal with the biggest cases there. Um, we have to help. We have to give technical support, scientific support, uh, also expertise, for example, in the, in the domain of uh, sexual crimes. Uh, the, the Council of Europe has some, uh, some expertise there and we can help the authorities. And there is the second track, it is the crime of aggression, the fact that the war was decided. Um, and you have to judge that, because uh, if you don't, you, you only have half justice. Um, all these crimes on the ground are possible because a war exists. So the first decision to, to actually conduct the war, which is totally illegal in the international system, uh, has to be judged. Uh, and the problem is the International Criminal Court has not the, the competence to do that, unless the Uni United Nations Security Council would, would tell her to do so. Uh, which is not uh, possible at the, at the moment because of the veto right of the, of the Russian Federation. This is why the Council of Europe has decided to push for this special tribunal on the crime of aggression because you absolutely have to judge that. The civilians who are killed uh, illegally, um, they, shouldn't, they shouldn't have died and you, you need justice for that. The militaries, the soldiers who defend Ukraine in the context of international humanitarian law it's legal to kill them uh, in, this, in the context of the war. It's not a, a war crime, but it's not just because this war shouldn't ha have happened. And that's why we say we should also judge this element. These people shouldn't have died and they also need justice. And in terms of setting up that tribunal, what would be the role of the Council of Europe? The Council of Europe can push. I don't think it, uh, the, the tribunal should be created within the Council of Europe. It should be as uh, universal as possible, so probably the best uh, framework is the United Nations or an intergovernmental agreement uh, with most, uh, the, most, uh, the biggest uh, possible support from, uh, from states, also from other regions of the world. Um, but the Council of Europe can pu put uh, an important political sign and uh, the Assembly also uh, addresses a message towards the head of states and governments of the Council of Europe member states. They will meet in a summit in Reykjavik in, uh, in May and we really hope that they will deal with this subject and, and uh, also push the international community to decide for the creation of this tribunal. Damien Cotier, thanks for talking to us. Thank you.